Alright, well welcome back to an episode of... Oh dear. Um, Silent Hill 2, sorry, just saw a very disturbing news report, but I don't want to read it. It's just ignore it. Going to ignore it, going to continue on with our lovely adventure through hell. Okay, maybe read that because it'll probably be less depressing than what you're <laughs> doing. Maybe they'll get to go, oh dear. Tom. Bit. Nice. <laughs> nice. A bit, a bit drippier than we remember, I think. Um, just a wee bit drip here. Have I got a torch? I press the switch, nothing happens. My torch is broken again. Goody. Oh, whatever shall we do? Well, apparently it's dark. It's not dark. too dark to read anymore, so that's kind of strange. So the lights have gone out and it's bright, but when the lights are on, it's dark. Okay. Yes. Oh, we can save. Oh, thank fuck. <laughs> right, that was... Next, a... So next episode. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> We're not going anywhere, Tom. Oh, really? I am super confident we can complete this. Welcome back. <laughs> We're back. <laughs> Thanks. You're not the one playing it. Should, playing do you it. think? Should I put the earphones on Jasper? Why? He wouldn't appreciate it. What you mean the the Sennheiser ones? Yeah. Why? Just to see what would happen. <laughs> if you are, make sure you take a picture. You probably wouldn't enjoy it if they were actually turned on, unless we find that cat music. Oh, I, nice. I have to buy it, but I can't buy it because I don't have money. And um, none of the money is. Well, I have some money, but I don't want to spend it on um, music. <laughs> That's really sad. I don't want to spend my music on ha my money on happiness. I don't want to spend my music. <laughs> so now I have every the music play. So you know how normally the doors are marked with red. Yeah. Well, now they're marked with blue because we're in a different realm ish now. So that door might be unlocked for all we know. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> it may be a now. <laughs> oh, this one's unlocked. Pussy. That, that white <laughs> Pussy. I love that gamer poop. Pussy. I love this um that music in the background is very it sounds very climactic, doesn't it? Actually I'm beginning to yawn. Is it making you tired? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh. I don't find it climactic. Oh this is yeah. different. I don't remember this. It's bed knobs and broomsticks. <laughs> What's that got to do with my knob? <laughs> with pleasure. Oh God. Really? Well, it's probably cancer. How long does she have? To the end of the day. That's really sad. Considering how she appears later on, it's probably something to do with leukemia. Or, um. Uh, what's skin cancer called? Just skin cancer, isn't it? I don't. I, I... Well, leukemia is a cancer of the blood. Yeah, I don't remember what the. It's just. Sorry about the depressing Derno... cancer talk, guys. Sorry. Yeah. Derno cancer or something, I don't know. It's something to do with. I know we should. We probably make this not so sad. We're trying to make it as happy as we can. Okay. No, oh, that again. Happy as a Silent Hill game can be. <laughs> Let's put up some happy things. Which is what? How how can you make this a happy game? I mean, uh, even if you put in a couple of balloons, it wouldn't make it look much nicer. Let's try it. Hey, there's a few pretty balloons. Should we add a couple of balloons in? No, I just had a Boop. There they are. Happy death party. Whoa! Woo! This is a bit fucked. Clean your windows. God. Oh, that sexy window. Martin, it's not just the windows that need cleaning. <laughs> could, could do with a bit of... A hotel. Do, do you know what this looks like? Do you know what this reminds me of? Mold. The day when that sink exploded in my flat. Do you remember? No. I d was I there for that? Mm, I was definitely pissed off at the time, but I wasn't... I was pissed off with the landlord. I turned the tap on. Yeah. It didn't... Like, nothing came out of it. So naturally, my response is to just assume that I've forgotten to turn it off. <laughs> so I forgot to turn it off again. I go to uni unaware that I had turned it on or something, even though it wasn't running any water. Yeah. So I guess a part of me thought I'd run it all the way down, but I didn't. Um, and I get I get a call saying, you know, um, my room's, there's like water going through the ceiling. I'm like, shit, really? 
I go upstairs, the tap has exploded, there is water everywhere, my entire bedroom has become a pond. Oh, that was a, that was a, whew, that was a nasty shock, that really was. Um, my poor hamster was in the bathroom where it exploded, Waldo. Oh, was the, he alright? He was fine, he was just a bit spooked by it, and he, somehow the water managed to miss him. I'm thankful because otherwise he would have drowned in his cage. There was a good reason why the hamster was in the bathroom and not the bedroom. There simply wasn't enough room. And he's a noisy one. Yeah, he was very noisy. Oh boy, did he bite that cage. Um, I picked him up every day, gave him cuddles. He tried to run away, you know, the usual. But, oh god, I felt so bad. Uh, Walter lived a pretty full good life, though. I adopted him from a friend. Oh. He lived for a full three years. I miss Waldo. He was a cute little furball. He's adorable. I really am running around in circles now. Sorry, that, guys. That video you have of him just stealing the chip off your plate. No, the digestive biscuit. Oh, uh, was it a digestive? I thought it was a... There's a chip, but there's also a picture that I caught him where he's actually got a full hobnob in his hands, and here's that picture now. <laughs> yeah. He was a weird one, but a good weird. Yeah, but like, just look at that little... Oh, God. I'll, I'll show it to you later, but the picture is just so fucking cute. Oh, I miss, and then, you know... Super he, fluffy. Oh, yeah, he was a weird one. He was, um... Oh, God, he was so tiny, but so fluffy, and never bit me, at least not on purpose. I think once he bit me by accident, because it was time for his medication, because he was very ill at the time, and he wouldn't wake up, so I sort of just went to kind of peel open his little bedding thing, and he immediately freaked out. Um, jumped up and I think his tooth must have just grazed my finger but he licked it afterwards because he'd know what he'd done. Uh, whenever I think about it, it breaks my heart a bit. I am wasting everyone's time. <laughs> Thank you for the pets. Now it sounds like you're jacking me off. Oh dear. Ah <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Stop it Tom. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, he was a precious little bugger. And then I had Cake uh, about a year after I got Waldo. Um, I think I think she passed away before Waldo did. No, he passed. she passed away after him. It was at the same time as each other. Yeah, and they both went to the same vet. No, different vets. Different vets. Um, one went to the RSPCA in Bristol. The other went to a Zetland surgery in Bristol. <sighs> and uh, Cake got an uh, uh, infection in their urethra or something, I think. It was, a, it was an infection of the genitals or something like that. I don't think a female hamster would have a problem with a urethra. No, no, something. She had something wrong with her lady bits and they were infected and she wasn't, like, urinating it's, properly. It's usually cancer with hamsters. Mm, they didn't mention it was a... They said it's potentially a tumour but they couldn't check without surgery. So when I asked, you know, what should I do? And she said, well... She's clearly suffering, and they don't live very long. She's very fragile, so she it's likely that she won't come out of this. Yeah. And I had to make the horrible decision of t uh, whether or not to put her down. I wish I was there with you uh, when that happened. Sad picture incoming. Sorry, guys. No, was, don't, uh, don't, no. I, I need, I need to share this. No. Uh, the, That's so sad. It was the last picture I have of her when um, they gave her the uh, sleepy medicine. Uh, boy. I need to I need to remember her a lot like they were my friends they were my pets they were my friends and I need to you know remember them so that they know I don't like to see death as an end I like to see it as a memory this is how I do things where the fuck am I going I don't <laughs> fuck know. sake I'm just running around in circles and people right now are just screaming at me go upstairs Martin you are done go downstairs are you fucking kidding me? Seriously, a fucking cement wall? Alright. <coughs> Downstairs has been cemented over. <sighs> what? Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm going upstairs. I'm going upstairs. Upstairs. There has to be some rooms up here that I haven't checked. Because I found nothing and I've been wandering around in circles for fucking hours. Did you go into the first floor where before all of the rooms were locked? You didn't see what has happened, did you? So it uh, cemented off. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't know why it's cemented off, but it just is. I can't go this way. And I can't go this way. Well, I've wasted everyone's time. Oh, uh, no, this is the save point. I can't take the elevator. 
Okay. Well, this has been a trip down memory lane. This is why. This is one of the reasons why I don't think I could ever play a Silent Hill game because there's too much in the way of go here, go here, <coughs> like this, go back there. You mean like every to... game ever? No, like this is more. This is why I can't get out of the first floor. By the way. This. Sorry. This is why I can't get out of the first floor. Um. For some reason, it ends in a cement wall. So the side door to this room is open. Go across. The fuck. Oh, oh! I say, I say, I say. Okay. So, if I go to room two hundred seven on the left here, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna make this episode just a bit longer. You're gonna have to. Because I'm an ass, and I'm sorry. <clears throat> I went down, I went down memory lane, and wasn't paying attention to what I was doing, and I got us fucking lost. Never let me drive. It's not worth your trouble, Tom. It really isn't. Unless I have, like, a sat-nav embedded in my... I know you said ass, then. Yeah, <laughs> bear in mind, I am my own sat-nav. No, I know. Oh, have I done it wrong again? Yep, I did it wrong. Back we go. Yeah, so this is the part where... No. No! Yeah, this is the part where I said all the rooms start to twist around in the hotel, do you remember? Yeah. Well, this is happening now. So that room door leads to the other side of the hotel and everything. Mm, so I... I need to go left to room 202. I hate this game. <laughs> I hate this part of the game, but I love this game. There are a lot of parts... You can hate a game, right? But it does grow on you. That's locked. Okay, these are all locked. Yeah. Can I go down and out in... I can. Okay. Okay, I can go down and out this way. What's that? press the button but nothing happens let's go through this door it's clearly where I'm supposed to go uh, and then map map check simulator 2015 16 whatever blah 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 you're like a little scam mm -hmm. no you're you're annoying my breasticles please say this works at last, I just progress. Hold on, I just remembered there's actually something back there I need to go pick up. Oh, Jesus. Sorry. Kill me! No. Why can't I get out? Open. I want to move on to the next game. We're nearly gonna, we don't even know what we're going to play next. We can look through our list of games. Or we can get a brand new. Well, not brand new, but we can get something to play. Yeah, so we could do that, but we do have... It's because I went back, there was two amples there. An array of games. Should we pick something short to play? <laughs> or long and happy? Like a dick. What? There's a hair in your face. Let's go to the basement. I don't know how to respond to you sometimes. Right. For some reason it's focusing on the door. Because right. Pyramid Head's going to walk in. A <laughs> shink. Oh. Okay. All of that sewage. Oh god! F fuck me! I don't even know where he's gone. You dick. So the entirety of the hotel is flooded. Oh, shut my pants on. Not as bad as Emily wants to play, because that game was just ass. <clears throat> my computer's also ass. Yes, it is. I have no doubt that people have skipped to this part of the recording. <laughs> this guy doesn't know how to play Silent Hill games. Or skip to the next episode, even. Probably. But they'll miss on my sad story. Not that they care. <laughs> I'm joking. Sorry. <laughs> I'm just going to sit there and talk. I know I'm a bit insecure, but that's just in my nature. I'm also very anxious. The entirety of the downstairs of the hotel is flooded <sighs> with what looks like slush. This he actually does look like a pile of shit to me. What does? Like Pyramid Head has just had a heavy night of drinking and he's come back and he's just had Pissed everyone. diarrhea and piss and everything. That's grody. That's what it looks like. It almost looks like. That noise. Almost sounds like people groaning. How many of these doors can I go into, I wonder? <laughs> Jasper snoring. 
<laughs> it adds to the atmosphere. Yeah, I, I guess. It's a weird thing to add atmosphere to. Next door! That's a bit smart. Oh dear, fire. Fire! Angela dialogue, fire. Fire. I want to draw his attention away from Hearthstone for a bit. I mean, you would walk casually through fire, wouldn't you? To save somebody, I would. Now you're the only one left. <sighs> Maybe then. Maybe then I can rest. That's sad. Mama, why are you running What's with away? the fucking... The fucking walls? Ooh, Skin. Creepy. What, the walls? You're not my mama. The fact no that shit. Blatantly a vagina. Strange symbolism Angel, in this game. No. There is a. That is clearly a woman's skin stretched over a canvas, isn't it? Well, Thank someone's you for skin. Me. But I wish you hadn't. Even Mama said it. Oh. I deserved what happened. No, no. Angela, that's wrong. Really hot. No. Oh yeah, she is. No. Don't pity me. <laughs> My color blindness is playing tricks on me. Is that fire I'm green? <laughs> no, no. It's honestly, it's genuinely the color of fire. fire. Or maybe you think you can save me. If you want me to, I will. Will you love me? Will you love me? Bullet through the head. Heal all my pain. Will you love me? <laughs> Heal me pain. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Did I fall over or something? This? I think James fell over. No, oh, come on, Angela. Just come back. I might not be able to love you, but I can definitely be there for James. you at least. Love me. Give me back that knife. I, I don't know if I should. No. I, I won't. I'm not gonna let you do things to yourself. Save it for yourself. No. Me? No. I'd never kill myself. Angela. Fans pray. Yeah, that's, um, I, I wouldn't go upstairs. It's a bit on fire. It's a tiny bit on fire up there. I know, but for some reason, everyone here just ignores everything going on around well, them. Well, I guess she's dead. Well, that's one less annoying character. That, what, and I'm the only character left. Well, except no, Maria's dead as well. It's hot as hell in here. Yeah. You see it too. You mean the hellfire? Yeah, yeah, I see it. Hellfire. It's always like this. Oh god, that's horrible. Did you hear what she said? No. She he said it's hot as hell in here, and she said for me it's always like this. Oh. That's really horrible, isn't it? I can't. Angela. Oh, okay, the fire actually hurts me. Okay. No. Oh. Shooter. Well. Bang, 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 bang. Oh, Tom, have some empathy for the characters. Come no, on. I can't. You know I can't. Well, bye, Angela. Um. I have no empathy for anyone that decided to go to Silent Hill. <laughs> they should have known. Well, that's it for Angela. We're going to end the episode here because we're out of time for this one, and we'll see you guys next time. We're probably going to have a bit of toast. Toast? I fancy a bit of toast. Mm, what about some marshmallows? On this fire? Yeah, toasted. Alright. Mm, Lovely.